Hey guys, how are you? It is Jean Watts. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing like a bronzy, gold, natural, 10 minute makeup routine. And I'm gonna set a timer and I'm gonna do it all the way through so you guys can see that it's 10 minutes. Um, so I'm doing a, I picked up my skin so I look kinda crazy. But I am using mostly Merit for this and I'm sure we've all heard of Merit at this point but they are a great makeup company that really specializes in a natural, clean look. And they're vegan and cruelty-free and all those great fun things. Their ingredients are made to work with all skin types and they do not clog your pores. That's big for me. I get clogged pores really, really fast. <laughs> it sucks. So it's very high maintenance. So I love using products that specialize in not clogging your pores, obviously. And their formulas are amazing. Like they are considered luxury formulas and they are about like, about 30% less than traditional luxury brands. So we love that. They're affordable, they are well made, they've got great formulas, they're good for your skin. So for every first purchase, you get this really cute reusable makeup bag. And plus you get free shipping on all orders above 40 bucks. And I forgot, Amazon, 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 Amazon. This is Amazon, this is Amazon. And these are Amazon. So those are on my Amazon storefront underneath jewelry. And this is under like headbands and hats or hair accessories or something like that. Okay, for skincare, I use my favorite Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant. And then I use my Godal vitamin C dark spot serum because it's super light. I wanted something light. And then I use my Embroilis, uh Look cream concentrate. This is a moisturizer and a primer. We love that. And then my favorite glow recipe, dew drops. So that's everything I have for skincare. Ooh. And then I have Laneige lip mask. Okay. All right, I have everything here. We're gonna start the timer and then I'm gonna show you how to do a very easy 10 minute glowy full face makeup routine. So we are starting with their foundation sticks and this is in bisque. My, I've been picking at my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a, put, wanna put a lot more con, uh, foundation than I usually do with this stuff. Usually I'll just like put this on certain pigment pigmentation spots. Sorry, it's really hard for me to rush and do my makeup and talk. And then I just kind of like dab it with my finger and it gives such a natural look and it blends into your skin and it looks like skin. I love it. But today I'm putting a lot, lot more because my face is just kind of flushed. So I'm gonna put this around here. By the way, I'm using Max Brush in 170. Okay. Now I'm going in with their foundation stick in linen. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go in with my favorite concealer brush and this is Hourglass's Flawless Concealer Brush. I think it's flawless, it's called flawless or seamless, I don't know. Probably flawless. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of batting that around, getting that nice and good. And it just easily blends. Like there's just not that much. Anyways, so now I'm going in with their contour stick in clay. And it's super creamy and hydrating. And it's a great color. Like you can go in with this stuff and it's not gonna look too much. I'm going in with the Merit 
brush. You go a little underneath here. I have to say this every time because I'm using my iPhone screen as like my mirror. Sometimes it looks way different on the screen and then I wash these back and I'm like, what was I doing? So if I'm looking like blotchy anywhere, that's why. <laughs> All right, so for blush, I'm gonna do this color. And these are so creamy. This isn't Fox. Going in with the concealer, I mean the Merit brush again right here. I'm going a little higher than normal because I want that like sunglass glow look. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to set it. My skin is very dewy right now, which we love. I'm going in with Refi's, Refi, sorry, but it's a translucent powder. It's water-based. I've talked about this for sure in the past. And I love this for the day because it's water-based. It's just very thin. Sets without looking cakey. It doesn't like sit on top of your skin. Sometimes I love when foundation, I mean, translucent powders do that, but for the daytime, not so much. So I really do love this stuff. Okay. We are at three minutes. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my favorite. This is the MAC Gold Deposit, and this is just like super warm. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, and I just love it. Blend a little down right here. Now for, let's do a little highlighter. We're gonna go in with Merit's highlighter right here, and this is in Cava. Now I'm pretty quick at doing my makeup because I do it all the time. <laughs> so like I can literally do this in my sleep. So it's really good to get a makeup routine that you like down and just keep practicing it over and over again and just keeps getting easier and easier. So for my eyebrows, I'm going in with um, Merit's, what is this called? Oh, what is this called? Hmm eyebrow pomade and it's in the shade blonde and I have been really loving just like a good natural bushy brow especially for daytime just gives a nice little soft look yeah it's really pretty just to tame them a bit because I do need to trim my eyebrows I'm going to just you know Paint these down. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna just go in with my Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette. I'm gonna go with this shade right here and this shade. I'm gonna just do a little bit of contour. I wanna go here. I just want a little shape to my eyes. And I feel like this always like makes it super bright. Um, I mean, super. Or just make my eyes bigger. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm going with my gold deposit again. I love using the same colors around my face, also on my eyes. It kind of ties everything together. And it has a little bit of sparkle and a golden vibe to it, which I think is really pretty. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm going with my concealer just to kind of clean up a bit. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going in with Master Matte's palette. Again, I'm going here and here, taking an eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna do a little wing. This is little to me. And I like using shadow because it's a lot softer than a harsh eyeliner pen. Damn it, I can't do this on screen. I gotta fix that. That was terrible. That was terrible. I'm gonna go in right here, just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with Max 
eyeliner in Costa Rica. We're gonna line there. And then now we're gonna go in, where is it? With Merit's mascara. And we're gonna get as much mascara as we can. I really do gotta fix that one winged. Wing it's just a hit or miss. Usually I can like slap eyeliner on and it'll look pretty good. And other times it'll look like a mess. I'm gonna let these dry just a little bit while I put on my lip liner and I'm going in with NYX lip liner and mahogany. Love that. Now I love their gloss. This is Merit's gloss in Sangria. And it's a really nice plummy romantic lip color. So where am I at? Like eight, eight something. I'm gonna add a little more mascara. Just a little on the bottom. This is usually the time where it takes the most is the mascara. When I used to wear lashes a lot, people were like, oh, how long does it take you to get ready? And I'm like, honestly, it takes me less time to throw on lashes than to put on 17 layers of mascara with my very thin lashes. You know what I mean? That's also because I've put on about a million lashes in my lifetime. <laughs> so I'm just wasting time at this point. I'm just gonna perfect this just a bit more. So it's nice and soft and that's pretty. It's less than 10 minutes, which is fantastic. I can also add a little nose contour and just see how like, it still looks like skin. It's not cakey and I, and I put a lot on. So it's just really beautiful, natural makeup. All right, I think that's it. I mean, it's 940. I could perfect this a little more, but honestly, like, I'm way more sloppier with my makeup during the day, especially if I'm running around or if I'm just like hanging out with, you know, I don't know, just doing something that doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, and that's 10 minutes. Now for me again, I've done my makeup so many times, I could do it in my sleep. I know exactly where I want everything. I know exactly how to put it on. Like this is like my, this is like to me my everyday go-to makeup. And I do always use, I've been using these a lot, these foundation sticks. Cause again, I mean now, now that it's like over. Like for an example, usually I would just mark a spot and then just kind of tap it with my finger. And I'll just do that around and that would be the only like, like a, more than like a foundation. By the way, sorry if I am not making sense or speaking proper English. It is really hard for me to talk and do my makeup and try to be good at it and, and be fast. But yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know what I pr probably would have done a little differently? I feel like with this lips, I would have gone in with their Atbris blush. And I would put like a little here. I've been loving a good high. Okay, now I'm defeating the whole purpose of this video. Now I'm just like adding shit. <laughs> Not a good move. No, that was too much. Okay, I need to step away. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm about to do a Dyson hair blowout look. Hair is not my specialty, but I have finally learned how to work the Dyson um, and I really do love it. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. I got a lot more coming and, uh, and yeah. Again, let me know what you guys want next. Uh, stay tuned, take care of yourselves, do your inner work, and I will see you guys later.
Bye. Even without the light, like, my makeup just looks so natural. That's crazy.